gap which I believe and Dean Acheson believes, believes still exists. Dean and Bill Moyers are the only people I've talked to about it. And uh, Friendly is going to come out uh, tomorrow morning with a big thing about a... a... Um, a... Uh, a blue ribbon submission which he thought of independently. It isn't just the department lawyers who are carrying on this. It's just things happen to thought, thought of a lot of people and you've thought of more of the details than anyone else. Just and I'm sure you're right, except there's one missing piece. I suggest that you announce that as you do not want the Attorney General to have the painful responsibility of uh, reporting on his own brother's assassination, that you have authorized uh, three jurists, and I would suggest a Texas jurist and two non-Texas jurists, to review all the evidence by the FBI and uh, produce a report to the nation for the nation. And uh, after the investigation is completed, so that the country will have the story um, judicially reviewed outside Texas. And if you tell Bill Moyers to call up friendly, and if you get out uh, uh, such an announcement this afternoon, you're going to make a marvel, well, you've already made a marvelous start. You haven't put a damn foot one quarter of an inch wrong. And uh, I've never seen anything like it. You've been simply marvelous in the most painful circumstances. But I do feel that there is that much of a gap. And I'm sure that if Moyers calls friendly, uh, you will have a terrific support from the Washington Post and from the whole of the rest of the press instantly. I'll run both procedures we've got, though. No, you won't. No, you won't. Just use the procedures you've got and add to those procedures a statement saying that when the FBI has completed its work, when it has completed its work, as you do not wish to inflict on the Attorney General the painful task of reviewing the evidence concerning his own brother's assassination, you have asked two or three, uh, including, I would include, the best judge on the Texas bench, um, uh, uh, um, American jurists beyond, um, or individuals, Dean Hutchison, for example, two or three individuals beyond uh, any possible suspicion as to their independence and impartiality, to draw up a written report giving to the public everything of the FBI evidence that is relevant. And then you will have this written report, which is not Texas, which tells the whole story, which is based on the FBI evidence, which doesn't need to use the things that the FBI says can't be used, and yet will carry absolute conviction, and will just be that little extra added to the admirable machinery you've already got that will carry complete conviction. My lawyers, Joe, tell me that the White House must not, the President must not uh, inject himself into uh, uh, local uh, killing. Uh, I agree with that, but in this case, it does happen to be the killing of the President. Right. And the, and the, the thing is, I'm not suggesting... He, I'm, oh, I'm, uh, mind you, mind you, Mr. President, I'm not talking about an investigative body. I am talking about a body which will take the, all the evidence that the FBI has amassed when they have completed their inquiry and produce a public report on the death of the president. That, I think, you see, that is not an interference in Texas. Nobody that is a, wait a second now. That is a way to transmit to the public <laughs> <laughs> without breach of confidence and in a way that will carry absolute conviction what the FBI has turned up. Why can't, uh, why can't the FBI transmit it? Because no one, uh, again, on the left, they won't believe the FBI. And uh, and the FBI doesn't write very well. Please, please, Nick Katzenbach? Uh, well, I just wouldn't put it on Bobby and Nick Katzenbach. I'd have it outside. I think it's unfair to put it on Bobby. It's unfair to put it on Bobby. It's his own Bobby. Yeah. Well, 
I'm not suggesting that you appoint an additional investigating I'm not suggesting you want to carry, if you want to carry, if you want to carry, if you want to carry absolute conviction. This very small addition of the admirable machinery that you've already set up will help you, and I believe that it will strike the imagination of the country and uh, uh, be a very uh, useful, happy thing. Happy thing. Uh, the man, uh, the man, ask, ask if you have two seconds. Uh, uh, or this afternoon, for example, ask the United and he is the man to ask. I, I see all the arguments you, you make, and you're dead right, and I, my conception was completely wrong, but I do think that that additional feature is needed. I talked to, I talked to, I guess, after midnight last night with the... Well, I know how you must have been concerned. Angus, the truest civil liberties lawyer in this town, in my judgment, the man has made the best arguments before the Supreme Court, and... It was his judgment, it was his judgment, the worst mistake we could make. There yes. Was yes. Getting trapped. Well, I and I, 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 and I now see exactly what, how right you are and how wrong you are about this idea of a blue ribbon commission. And you see, Captain Mack suggested that. And that provoked it. Uh, they, the lawyers at the council of me just hit the ceiling and said, my yes. God almighty. I, I see, I see, I see, I see that you're right and that he was wrong. What I do... Now, I see, I see, I see, I see that you're right and that he was wrong. What I do... I called back to catch him back, and I thought he accepted. Uh, well, I, I don't know anything about Captain Back because I haven't talked to him for three weeks, but... Uh, but uh, you I, see, what, this is... What I am suggesting is not at all what Captain Back suggested. I am suggesting simply a device. Uh, let me talk to Atchison. For and, uh, summing up the result of the FBI inquiry in a way that will be completely coherent, detailed, and will carry unchallengeable conviction. And this carrying conviction is just as important as carrying on the investigation in the right way. And uh, I worry about this post editorial. I'd like you to get ahead of it. Well, I worry about post, period. But <laughs> well, I do too. Uh, but I'd like, you, I'd like you to get ahead of it. And if you have, if you make this decision, and have Moyers call uh, 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 friendly, okay, instead of uh, uh, being, well, you know, uh, this is what we ought to do, this is what ought to be done, and then what you do being denounced is inadequate, they'll, uh, they'll be flattered, and we'll do you a tremendous piece, and I'm sure that you will have the, the strongest possible support. It'll be thought that everything has been done that needs doing. And I, but I do think my own judgment is that there is that little missing piece, and and uh, Dean may disagree, and you talk to him. I talk to him, and and I hate to interfere, sir. It, no. I only dare to do so because I care so much about you. Oh, that, Joe. And I have the deepest faith in you, and I think uh, you've been right and I've been wrong as to the general conception. Not a question. Uh, it's not really my thinking. I'm not a, enough uh, experienced. I'm really. What I'm really honest to giving you is public relations advice, not legal advice. Well, I, I, I'm not founded to, I don't have the depth in the civil liberties picture that some of the folks that uh, have worked on this with me. I had, and this is, I had a lawyer left my house last night after midnight and spent, I guess, three or four hours going over this thing from A to Z after the Attorney General uh, was called in here yesterday afternoon after the FBI was put on it after we told Secret Service to make available everything they had, and we thought that uh, this was the best way to handle yeah, well, I think so, you're, I think you're, I, 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 I repeat, I must not keep you because you'll be late getting into your trousers, but uh, uh, I repeat, I think your decisions have been 200% right, and, and uh, um, uh, I was wrong, but from a public relations standpoint, from the standpoint of carrying conviction, there is that missing piece which is easy to supply without infringing the Texas. Thank you, my friend. Thank you, sir. Ah. Goodbye.